welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Wrecking Slam vehicle review on the WWE Wrecking Rampage rig. We shortly saw this on display at WrestleMania Access, I think, was the first time that we saw it. And it hit shortly thereafter. Not really, it wasn't shortly thereafter. That was like four or five months. What I don't know what the hell I'm saying. But you guys can see here, 11 breakaway pieces Wrecking Rampage rig. I wish I had the room to showcase it and display it up next to all of our other videos. Vehicles. Unfortunately, I don't have the real estate right now, so I do apologize for that. However, we are going to take a look at what some things look like up next to it. We're going to build it. We're going to take a look at all the features and stuff, but here's the packaging. Beautiful rig right here. I got to say, the setups that they do at the certain events and the accesses and the SDCC is pretty cool, but they should bring MDT in there to get in on all the setup fun, but here it is. Very, very big play set. You guys can see here's my hand on the box. Cool stuff going on right there. Here's the Rampage rig. It's even hot. You got launching action over there. Don't forget about launching action but it's kind of hard to even you know spin around here so i'll just flip it to the to the back here in a moment but wrecking down here rampage rig here on the back you get some cool stuff break wrecking ball and capture the championship wwe logo you got you know some elites and figures on display right there it shows all the breakaway pieces drew mcintyre swinging in crane turns 360 degrees ladder includes the rampage rig a ladder the ball and then a wwe championship and then on this face it shows the rampage rig and on this side it just says wrecking so not missing much there but let's spin this thing around 360 style showcase what's in this thing and review the rampage wrecking rig all right, so here is the Wrecking Rig out of the packaging. Pretty substantial size. You know, I got an AEW figure over here. Here's here's Wardlow up next to it. I'll do some more comparisons and stuff as far as putting guys in the truck, seeing what that looks like, you know, display options, all those different things. You know, I think if you're going to use this, it's got to be, I guess you could use it in a photography stance. You know, you could probably make some cool setups and stuff like that. I think that there's a ton of playability. You could even do, you know, like a ladder match truck deal. You know, I, I don't know, like a championship on a crane match or something you know what i mean you, there's there's plenty of opportunity for that i like it overall i think the functionality is really well made and we're gonna get into all those things but i did want to showcase the size of it it's pretty big i think it's in great scale it's obviously not the exact scale of a real 18 wheeler i don't think yeah for sure not right i mean like if you stood up next to an 18 wheeler i'm pretty sure your shoulders don't go to the top of the hood i'm pretty sure it's like way up here usually but not a huge deal you know but going over thing you get with the wrecking rig here man starting out first from left to right you do get a standard wwe championship one we've seen multiple times i don't notice anything different maybe the silver outline on the championship like a maybe you know i i can't really tell any differences right off the cuff but you get a nice wwe championship you get these two hooks here which i think are pretty cool i don't like that they're not like you know fully metal chain like we'll get into in a moment but i'll show you guys where these hook in just a second now this is what i really like you do get the hooks with or the one hook i should say that hooks onto the wrecking ball but this clips onto a hook and then you do have the hook that connects to the wrecking ball but this is actually real metal chain which i think would have benefited these hooks if you will but you know it is what it is it is nice it's got some heft to it it's pretty cool you also get a small ladder, one that, you know, we've seen these before with multiple figures. Came with the Elite, what, 91 Kevin Owens. I mean, they, they've come with a lot of times, but, you know, it's the shorter ladder, not the long version. You have these two gas tank accessories that just plug on on the side. So, just for instance, here's the little holes right here. You know, you just plug these in. And just like that, they hook on the side. You have the lights that don't operate at all. You just literally stick this on the top of the thing, I think. And then, you know, maybe they go, I think they go in this gap up here. You guys get the point. It's just little lights that you can take off. I don't think they're next necessary to be honest and then my favorite is the wrecking ball with the wwe logo right here very nice sculpt to it got the little hinge on this side and then you can open it up right here and you can put the championship in there you can put multiple things in there not little things because of obviously the fault of the square holes but this is really cool and you guys can see the little hook hole right here so obviously you can hook through there and then you can swing this around and bash people's heads in now getting into the truck itself, very high quality, I'd say the paint is very similar to the Wrecking Cars, the red's very similar to the Wrecking Slam Mobile, the black and silver's very similar to the Wrecking Slam Cycle that we saw. I still think the ambulance is my favorite, but this one's very cool as well. These parts are removable, you can take off these big exhaust pipes, operational doors, spinning it to the other side, you guys can see here that the hood also breaks and the front grill pops off, it's got a massive WWE logo wrecking right there. And you know the hood does pop off right there, so you can kind of have like a stealth mode going there. It has this operational crane that is very loud as you guys can see, but up here you can put superstars on there. And I guess just for instance, 
We got the DX Road Dog up here. Good God. We got the DX Road Dog right here. You just plug him right there, and then you press the engine down and it launches him across the room. So there's your little operation right there. You can have some cool fun with that. There's no damn room for this rig, man. Not in the review station. This is also a really cool feature. You can 360 this, so you know, you can you can move this around. I couldn't get this out. I'm sure there's probably a way if you tried hard enough, but this is very loud and it rotates right here. You, got, you can have guys stand back here. These little hooks like this are supposed to hook in here, I think. So they can like hook like that. And they, I wanna say they went somewhere else, but but I am not seeing that anymore. I don't know what the hell happened. Anyways, here is where the wrecking slam wrecking ball, there's a little hook right here. You'll put the circle on the hook, put the circle on the hook like so. And then at the end of the chain, you can obviously hook this up right here and then boom. Now you can literally have a wrecking ball. Too bad I don't have 3D glasses. I also apologize for the shishiness of this because it's just too damn big for the review station. And I would have went to my kitchen and just unboxed it in front of my face, but I look like crap. So there's that. But yeah, I, I like this a lot, man. I think you can do a lot of cool things with it at the end of the day. I saw it at both Walmart and Target, so if you guys are looking to find this, I think you can find it at either. I've seen it at both locations in my town. But I think the Wrecking Rig is pretty damn cool, man. And for putting guys in here, here's just a standard AEW Unmatched Kenny. You know, you can just put him in there, and he fits pretty good. So Kenny Omega can fit in there, and WWE Elites can also fit in there. Let's flip it around, open up the door here, and we got Blue Gauntlet Roman Reigns. Blue Gauntlet Roman Reigns can get up in here, and he can drive his wrecking slam mobile with Kenny Omega. So stick him in there. Fits pretty good. And they kind of sit kind of low in there, as you guys can see. Like, he's not sitting up very well. I'm sure if you, you know, you could play around there. There he goes. He's sitting up a little bit better there, but... Yeah, there's Roman Reigns, and then uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to move this, and I want to throw this into that scaffolding and crash it. Ready? One, two. Good God. There it is. There it is. Christ. Anyways, I know this review is kind of crap, to be honest with you. It's just, again, there's not a lot of room, man. There really isn't. I think that the playability is awesome. Operational doors, removable stuff, breakaway pieces. I mean, it wrecked my ish. So, I mean, that's that's all I can really say. But that's going to wrap up the Wreck and Rig review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here. I got to go feed my daughter. It's 4 a.m. Love you guys. Stay blessed. You crossed the line.